up, down, up, down, up. Okay, we're on lesson 12.2, page 53. So I will let you read the explore section on your own. But down here, what you should get from the explore section is in order to find whether or not uh, this point here, negative 3, comma, negative 3, is a solution or one of the solutions to the system of inequalities is just plug it in and if it comes out to uh, be a true statement then for, for both that is then it is a possible solution so we're going to plug these in to both inequalities here okay so I'm going to rewrite this first one let me see I'm going to rewrite this first one here uh, and I'll change colors here y less than or equal to 2x plus 3 so I'm going to go ahead and plug in the values and negative 3 for x and negative 3 for y and when I do this uh, let's see 2 times negative 3 is what negative 6 plus 3 and then um, if I do this negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3 and this is true negative 3 is equal to negative 3 and this is a less than or equal to so this is a true statement Okay, and then we'll try the same thing with the second equation or the second inequality here. And so let's write y greater than negative x minus six. So again, we're going to plug in negative three for y and uh, negative three for x. When we do that, um, these are going to become positive. So three minus six, and so um, negative three greater than, this is going to be negative 3. So this does not have a line underneath it, so um, negative 3 is not greater than negative 3. This is a false statement. Oops, I was about to write true. This will be a false statement. Therefore, uh, we would say the ordered pair uh, negative 3 comma negative 3 is not a solution. So, all right, let's move up to page 55. Okay, so we're going to graph the system of linear inequalities, and we're going to do two things. We're going to give two ordered pairs that are solutions and two that are not solutions. Okay, so let's graph. This is in slope intercept. Oops, this is in slope intercept form, so this is kind of nice. So our starting point is at 2, and then our slope here is negative 1 comma, um, negative one third. So I'm going to go down 1 and over 3. Down one over one, two, three. Down one over one, two, three. Down one, one, two, three. So on and so forth. Right ever, right ever. Uh, so we're, our line's gonna be something like that. Let's move it a bit like that. There's our first line, and then let's let's deal with this one right here. This one's not in slope intercept form, so I'm gonna add y to both sides and I should end up with y plus 3 less than 4x and let's move the 3 over to the other side and we should get y less than 4x minus 3 where this is our starting point negative 3 our slope is 4 uh, or 4 over 1 so I'm going to go up 4 and over 1 1 2 3 4 over 1 1 2 3 4 and over 1 so I have a line, well, let, me, let me draw one more dot, one, two, three, four over one. So I have a line that's kind of doing something like this. Okay, so here's my second line. And if we were to shade this, let's go with green. Let's, let's shade this first one. Um, so it's y greater than uh, so we want everything on top. So I should have made that green, but y greater than. So everything on top of this line right, is the y greater than. And then for the second equation, we want um, y less than. So we're going to shade everything on the less than side of this line. Now this line is kind of steep, but um, hopefully you understand that um, the y less than section is this side and and so if we do that the double-sided part 
the double sided part is right here everything right here okay so as long as it falls into this pink area we're good so we want two solutions two solutions that are in the pink area so I'm gonna pick let's pick right here uh, let's pick a nice bright pink here this is 2 comma 2 as a possible solution and then uh, 4 comma 4 is also a solution so um, the answer uh, would be 2 comma 2 or 4 comma 4 are solutions possible solutions and so anything that is not in the double shaded area is not a solution so for example um, not solutions would be something like uh, 0 0 or let's say negative 1 0 so it's quite easy to find a non-solution okay um, then same thing for question number two both of these are really nicely written in slope intercept form so I'm gonna start at 3 my slope is 1 it looks like so I'm gonna go up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 so this is going to be the line basically so let's draw a nice big line through all the points like that uh, and then we want let's go ahead and shade at the same time we want all the points less than so I'm going to shade the bottom part of this um, inequality here so be as artistic as you want for the shade let's make this blue we want uh, y less than negative 3 so negative 3 is right here so we want a line that kind of is like right there and we want everything less than that so we want everything less than that right there so the double shaded part ends up being let's, let's use orange maybe that'll be easy to see but the double sided shaded part well that's going to be hard to see let's use green but no it's be hard to see too um, the double shaded part is going to be, well, will black be easier to see? Okay, let's do that. So this double shaded part is right here. Okay. Um, and if you can't see it, it's right here. Um, uh, and I'm going to try to color as best I can. So two solutions would be anything that falls in there. So let's say negative, or sorry, zero comma negative six. So possible solutions would be 0 comma negative 6 and 0 comma negative 7 and non-solutions would be anything else so I like 0 0 non-solutions would be 0 comma 0 and let's say 2 comma 0 and your answers might be different from mine as long as they don't uh, or as long as they fall into the um, right shaded areas Right? Check with your teacher for the correct answer if you're unsure.